U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis has said the U.S. is never out of diplomatic solutions in dealing with North Korea. It comes after President Donald Trump tweeted that talking is not the answer to the country's military ambitions. Russia has also warned the U.S. against taking military action, saying it would be fraught with unpredictable consequences. North Korea caused alarm by firing a missile over Japan on Tuesday. The missile, which Japan called an unprecedented threat, crossed the northern Hokkaido region early on Tuesday, triggering public alerts to take cover, before landing in the sea about 1,180 kilometers 730 miles, off the coast. North Korea later said it was the first step of wider military operations in the Pacific, and repeated its threats to the U.S. Pacific island of Guam. In a commentary piece, the North state news agency KCNA described Japan as a sworn enemy, warning that Tokyo's cooperation with the U.S. was only accelerating self-destruction. Just days ago, Mr. Trump had said he believed North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was starting to respect the U.S. But in a tweet late on Wednesday, he said, The U.S. has been talking to North Korea, and paying them extortion money, for 25 years. Talking is not the answer. But when asked whether it was true that the U.S. had lost hope in diplomacy, Mr. Mattis openly disagreed with the president saying, No. We are never out of diplomatic solutions. He was speaking as he met his South Korean counterpart, Song Young Moo, at the Pentagon. We continue to work together, and the minister and I share a responsibility to provide for the protection of our nations, our populations and our interests. Russia, which shares a tiny border with North Korea and a maritime border with Japan, has said that U.S. military activity in the region is partly to blame for the increase in tensions. In a phone call on Wednesday, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson that diplomacy was the only way to overcome tensions on the Korean Peninsula, which have been escalating in recent months. A military solution would be fraught with unpredictable consequences, Reuters quoted Mr. Lavrov as saying. He also said any further strengthening of sanctions against North Korea by the UN would be counterproductive. Meeting on Tuesday, the UN Security Council had unanimously condemned the launch and again demanded North Korea cease all missile testing. But it did not push for new sanctions. Speaking in Geneva at a UN conference on disarmament, North Korean diplomat Ju Yong Sol insisted the North would not be stifled and will not hesitate to take further tougher countermeasures. He said Pyongyang strongly rejected the fabricated stories that it was to blame for the tensions of the Korean Peninsula.